What's up, game changers? Session. This is session nine, man. 2023 playoffs is finna come to an end, and we have two teams left: the Denver Nuggets and the Miami Heat. Yo, who would have thought this is the finals we get? I thought we was getting Lakers Celtics. The, the fans thought we was getting Lakers Celtics. But let's talk about the teams at hand. Let's first talk about that uh, Celtics Heat Game 7, the most streamed Eastern Conference Finals of all time. Clap it up for the NBA. They got their ratings in. You know, it was a good night. And honestly, it was anticipated because Boston coming down from 3-0 to, to go to the finals, that has never been done. Everybody wanted to see that. I wanted to see that. Memorial Day weekend, you know, had me a plate, some ribs, spaghetti, mac, you feel me? Watching the game. Hey, you could, I couldn't ask for nothing better. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. But to the game, the better team, or should I say the better team? The team that should have won, won. Let's just say that. And I'm going to say the better team because whoever won is the better team. Let's just be honest, bro. Like, the Heat went out there and they did what they needed to do. They did their job and they did it well. Jimmy Butler is an excellent leader. Excellent leader. And honestly, like, I keep saying this. I keep reiterating this. But if you have a leader like Jimmy Butler, bro, I'm, if I'm on Jimmy Butler's team, I'm following behind him and playing my role and trying to get us to where we're going. I.e. Caleb Martin, bro. You feel me? He he was dropped out of Hornets. The Heat picked him up. You feel me? Like, role player. He was put into that role player position, but now he's showing that he can do more than a role player. Like, he's doing his job, but hey... I can, I can do a little bit more, you feel me? And that's my player of the game, Caleb Martin, 25 points, four rebounds. He was, a, what, a plus seven on the court, bro? Like, he gave the Heat so much, you know, oomph, so much push. Like, you couldn't, you couldn't deny them that win last night. Jason Tatum had 35, but it wasn't no 35. Like, what they lost by, like, they lost by, like, 20. Yeah, they lost by 20. 20. No, nah, let's scratch that. They did not they did not lose by 20. They lost by like eight. So they lost by eight, but it still felt like 20. That's what it felt like. To be honest with y'all, it felt like 20. Though I really think they, they got the uh they points during garbage time, but they it felt like they lost by 20. Um Jason Tatum hits 35. That don't mean none without the win. I, and it's hard to win four games. To be honest with you, it's hard to win four games in a row to go to an NBA championship. They tried their best. But to be honest, that last game, game six, they the uh, the Celtics shouldn't even won that game. You feel me? Like one miss, box out. And now you got to tip back in for the game. You go into game seven. The Heat should have won that game, to be honest with you. But it is what it is. They came, they came up with four wins. And that was the goal, bro. So now they're going to the finals. Mr. Game Changer. They asked me, Mr. Game Changer, who are you going to pick for the NBA Finals? Well, it's not as easy as people think. The Heat, they play hard, bro. They play hard night in and night out. And what I've seen from the Heat, 8 seed, losing in the play-in game to the Hawks, ended up beating the Bulls. Like, beat the Bucks in the first round. Who did they play in the second round? Oops. Shoot, they played somebody. But, hey, went to the third round, played the Celtics, bro. They have defied the odds, bro. The eight seed is finna play a number one seed. And we we talked about this, uh, a Cinderella story or just having a story for the NBA playoffs. The Lakers and the Celtics, you know, the title for 18, that was a story. We have a story here that I think the NBA could push for. Number eight seed Heat defies all odds with a leader like Jimmy Butler and beats the number one team in basketball, which is the Denver Nuggets. I like I like it. I like that little storyline that 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 header right there. But 
I think I think the Heat have a chance. If the Heat have a chance to win it, they will probably do it in seven. Uh, I don't see anything less than seven because I respect Denver that much. Denver, and I, I said this on my pod today, you know, um, I said that the Denver Nuggets have a lot of similarities to that 2020 Lakers team. And I know, <laughs> TJ, you always find a way to go back and talk about the Lakers. I know, I know. They're my favorite team, so I know the most about them. But that 2020 Lakers, even before they got in that bubble, y'all need to go back and look at the tape during the season before COVID hit and everything. They were dominating teams. And the reason they were dominating teams is the reason why I think the Nuggets might win this series by six or seven. They are able to play small ball and big ball exceptionally well. So what I mean by that is, let me give you an example. Going back to the 2020 Lakers. The Lakers, uh, if they needed to play big against a bigger team, they had they will play the lineup of JaVale McGee, Dwight Howard, LeBron, not JaVale, Dwight Howard, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Caruso, and KCP. That's that was their big lineup. If they needed to play small, they'll play Rondo, uh, KCP, LeBron James, uh, Cal Kuzma, and Anthony Davis. That was their small lineup. They were able to do that. This Nuggets team can do the same. The Heat are pretty much smaller than the Denver Nuggets, so they can play towards that. But if, say, they were playing a bigger team, um, say it, this was the Bucks instead of the Heat, they are able to go Jokic. Um, they're able to go Jokic. I'm blanking on his name. Jokic, uh, Jamal Murray. Bruce Bruce Brown, uh, Porter Jr. What's that? I just named four and Gordon. That is his name, Gordon. So Gordon, Jokic, uh, Kevin Porter Jr. Not Bruce Brown, KCP, and Jamal Murray. That will be their big lineup. But if they play small with the Heat, then they can go Jeff Green. They can go uh Porter, K. KCP, Bruce Brown, and Jamal Murray. Or sub Porter out of there, put Jeff Green at the four, and just have Jokic at the five, because I don't see them taking him out very much. But I think that doing those two things well, like, and dominating at those two things, like the Lakers was dominating in 2020, and the Nuggets, they're dominating. So I think that's why they'll take it, because they they are able to do both. They have so many pieces on their roster. They, it, they just can't. They can't lose. I, I don't see no way. The only way I see them losing is being outcoached and also Jimmy Butler leading that team. So when Jimmy Butler is being aggressive, Jimmy Butler is scoring, being aggressive defensively and offensively, the others follow suit. Caleb Martin, Vincent, and Abayo, Lowry, uh, Tyler Hero may come back. So the Heat have a chance, but I am firmly picking the Nuggets in this series because I've seen this team before, the Lakers in 2020, and I believe the Nuggets will win the NBA championship. But... That boy, Jimmy, it's hard to count him out. I love the Cinderella story. So tell me what y'all think in the comments, man. It's going to be a great series. And even though it's not one we uh, expected to happen or really wanted to happen, like the flashiness, the superstars in it. I mean, we have Jokic, Jamal Murray, Jimmy Butler, and a bio. But those are not the Greek freaks or the Stephen Currys. I mean, they're getting there hopefully getting to that stature but um it's still gonna be a great series man don't count them out everybody go watch the series man and that's all i really got for y'all i can't wait to watch these games and come back and get y'all my opinion man but that's all i have game changes we out